And here, guys and girlies, on the uh, monster today. I'm gonna give this. Uh, this will be the fourth time now. Made trying here to make a video. Um, this new helmet I got here is the Simpson Street Bandit, I think it is. Um, like it's got the flat front. It's pretty cool. Um, it's noisy. <laughs> and I've tried moving the mic around in different places and just all you hear is wind noise. And you can already hear me talking. So, I'm going to try it here a fourth time now. I did three times on the trucks. I wanted to get this out and run it today, so um, I'll try this again. I want to just let you know what's going on. Um, uh, like two weeks ago, a little over two, like almost three weeks now, uh, my dog Chansey, he, uh, he died. He was 16 years old. I had him since he was a pup. And uh, just, you know, with him getting sick and, uh, and then passing away, and I just haven't felt like doing much of anything. I just go to work and kind of mope around the house, not real motivated. But, uh, I need to get something up here, and you guys, you truck guys too, want to see Super Duty stuff. I got something in the works for that too. Um, so just be a little patient with me. Um, but yeah, Chancy got sick and uh, just uh, tried to make him comfortable. It was like a Friday. We took him to the vet and. Uh, because I, I can't put them down. Um, the last stall got put down back in 2001. The one that actually I got Chansey after he died. Um, whenever they gave him the injection, it was a golden retriever. He, he started to like yelp. And uh, like it was hurting him. So. I just can't do it anymore. I just I don't have the strength. So I just tried to make Chansey comfortable and uh, let na nature take its course. So it was a Friday. We took him in, and by Monday morning he. Uh, well, Monday morning when I left for work, he was okay. And um, when I came home Monday, he was gone. So, it's tough. You know, I, I never lucky enough to have kids, so my dogs, pets in that day, my dogs are like my kids. So, I still got Shelby. And we got a little bunny too. Um, got him in the house. He's actually uh, litter trained. He, that's pretty cool. Like a cat. <laughs> I don't like cats, but I like the rabbit. Um, but anyway, that's what's been going on. And uh, like I said, this whole week I've been trying to get something up for you guys here. And it just hasn't been working out. So, if you've got a four-legged friend there, give him a hug. Sir. Even though I had him for 16 years, yeah, that's a short time. They're just not with us very long. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get another one because... Uh, 
just getting harder and harder to bury these dogs. I made, you know, I made a coffin for them that and dug the hole and that. It hurts a lot. So, I don't know. He was my outside dog. I always like to have a dog outside to, for protection. Originally got him to be inside, but I mean, we, we could not house train him. He would not. He would not learn to house train, so I had to put him outside. But I think he liked that better. He liked to. Uh, he liked outside. But, uh, even Shelby, she, you know, they, they want to be out. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where I, what's been going on here. Yeah, quick uh, talk about a couple things here. As you can see, I have the Merlin sand and jacket on. Been wearing that here a good bit. Um, it says it's 72 degrees out right now. And not too bad. It only has these two chest vents. and But there's no exhaust vents with my backpack on these chest beds are doing a whole heck of a lot but what I noticed before if you just have a t-shirt on this this these sleeves and that the coat kind of sticks to you like a, a dry turd on a dog's ass I mean it just it sticks to you yeah it's like a wet sheet so what I went I got uh, a couple of the uh, long sleeve Under Armour pulling shirts and that's what I have one underneath this and that's uh, that's working perfect so word to the wise and telling you if you buy one of the, any of these wax cotton Merlin jackets get yourself a long sleeve pulling shirt because uh, you're gonna need it because it was it was miserable without it and whenever it gets warm so take my advice on that other than that you know the jacket uh, it's a great looking jacket seems to be quality um, I like it a lot I like it a lot so I do um, I wish I could wear it and you know more but as it gets warmer here I'm not gonna be able to because it's just too hot it's the vents don't vent directly to your body it's got that waterproof membrane in it so you know and it's breathable so yeah it's definitely not a hot weather jacket but I still I highly recommend it, it you know uh, for like got for on the Thruxton or the old Yamaha or the uh, 75 slash 5 BMW or even on here or any of them really I just think it looks good I'm, I don't like it the the collar's comfortable that's one thing like I said before I've got a big neck and that I can actually close this collar so, but uh it's velcro too you know it's so it's not just a snap button it's got plenty of adjustment so, and also like i said i got the uh simpson street bandit helmet on here um but the mirrored shield fort and i'll tell you what it is nice and dark you know, the sun, I'm heading to west and the sun's right above me here and I don't even have my sunglasses on. It's really good. Um, but it is noisy, very noisy. I got earplugs in. Uh, my other helmets, I don't need earplugs. It's, to me, it's not that bad. I might be partially deaf anyway from working in the shop around the air tools and air compressors and all that all them years. But, uh, got the earplugs in. 
Well, I can hear my music. I got it going right now too, so it's not turned up the whole way. So, like that. And uh, I think it looks great. Um, good thing, you know, one thing, it's good that there is some air coming up from the underneath. I tried looking for a chin curtain. There's none available that I could find. So, but there's not a lot of ventilation. It's got those two little vent holes in the forehead there, but I'm not feeling a whole lot from them. So I got one of those uh, little uh, pulling, you know, uh, I forget what the heck they call it. It's a little beanie on. Try and help keep the head cool a little bit. The cool Max, yeah. So, definitely recommend you getting something like that if you got one of these in the hot weather. But the helmet's light, it's not real heavy. Uh, and at high speed, though, she does want to lift. Uh, yeah, the old uh, monster. Still getting used to it. Even, I don't think I'm 500 miles on it yet. This is my favorite part of the ride here. Yeah, the Simpson here, I, I like the helmet. I had originally got, um, I waited for that Biltwell lane splitter to come out. Because, you know, I wanted this style of helmet to go with this jacket and you know, the older bike. And, uh, you know, it had the same shape to it and that. Uh, but that thing, it just didn't fit my head right. The, around my forehead and that, thought my head would fit good, but man, it just clamped down on my my cheeks, my face. I couldn't even close my dang mouth. So, I tried, you know, I got it off of Revzilla, and they said, you know, just sit in your recliner with it on and see, you know, before you sit, don't get in a hurry to send it back, try it. So I did that, and, uh, you know, it was when they first very first came out and I'll tell you what for being yeah you know, it's a red, red retro helmet um, <laughs> the fumes the chemical fumes from that down if it was from the paint or the molding process or what but um yeah when I was sitting there in the old lazy boy I felt I think I was starting to get a buzz from all that chemical crap brought back uh, the old days when I'd be riding around with my two older cousins and they were uh, in the old Ram Charger and they were all getting smoked up and I'm sitting in the back seat inhaling their secondhand smoke <laughs> but um, yeah it just didn't work out so I sent it back and uh, they were great no problem with the return they, they email you a link print out the shipping label for UPS and send it back so um, when I ordered this and they send you two sets there's two sets of cheek pads with it and I just I had to put the thinner ones in because the other ones that were in the helmet were a little bit too tight and uh, it's been good except for the noise but, you know, we can't have it all. Unless Schubert goes and makes a helmet like this and, or, you know, or show or somebody. But, uh, yeah, and the, the uh, I don't like the face shield mechanism on it. The, uh, 
doesn't have I don't like the detents but it doesn't seem like positive but um, it locks down good it's got a pin it's kind of hard to open you got to get used to it but, uh, you got to like uh, there you go pull out and push up because there's a locking pin here on the side it goes in the hole uh, yeah, it definitely won't flip open. So, I don't know what else I can think of. Um, just drawing a blank here, guys. I just, I just wanted to go over a couple of things here. So, yeah, be sure I, I got a uh, GS video in the pipeline and. I got a truck video in the works for the truck guys and uh, try and get back here to getting at least you know get maybe one out a week see what happens here and I just don't want to be putting videos out just be putting videos out I, you know I just want, to, want them to mean something either review a product or talk about something that's on my mind so I appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, we took a good leap here in the past month. All everybody that subscribed and uh, try and do a little bit of everything for everybody. So y'all, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, be sure to like or dislike comment I want it I like to call I always respond um, unless you get gonna be a jerk or a troll then you know I'm not gonna bother with you I, I'm not gonna get all worked up over dates or own so but, uh, yeah appreciate y'all watching this is JD man Y'all take care, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.